What are you hearing on your end uh, in terms of people that are inquiring about the program, getting ready to start? We're feeling and really getting a lot of interest from the students here at Montgomery. We've had one of our directors of recruitment down here working very closely with um, Diane Barbarisi here at, at, at Montgomery, and they have been a great support to get the message out in front of the students. Uh, we have a lot of students who have expressed interest. We have some other programs coming up later in the next few months for students that might be interested in coming into the program, but lots of interest from the students. I think they really like the fact that we're bringing the program to them. Is it a lot of women, mostly uh, women, or men and women, or a whole variety? I think uh, we're really finding that we're, we have mostly women that have been moved forward. Well, we, we're not singling out that men can't be part <laughs> of the program, <laughs> but uh, it, it, we're finding that um, it seems that there's a lot of women that are interested in this field. One of the things I'm curious about, uh, if you could share with the audience, we have a new science building, a new healthcare science building mm -hmm. here. Uh, at Montgomery College, what are some of the things that it offers and what's that part of uh, your enthusiasm about partnering with us? Um, the program is, is wonderful here at Montgomery. That was one of our excitement of moving down here. We knew that the students would be coming out of this program um, with excellent credentials and be ready to really um, move into this four-year baccalaureate degree without any issues. Mm. We are going to be using some of the classroom space but not any of the lab space right at the moment. Rose, tell us a little bit about your experience in the new center. Well, the new center, if anyone, if people have not had a chance to visit, they really ought to come down mm -hmm. and take a look at the building. Um, when you go through any of the labs, that is, is a mock-up of what you would see in a hospital, which is phenomenal for the students. So you have plenty of hands-on opportunities and simulated situations. So that when you go to a hospital, you're not completely unaware of your surroundings. We have a, a surgical wing, we actually have an OR room that the x-ray students can use because we go into the OR. And of course our rooms have state-of-the-art x-ray equipment. Mm. And the nursing uh, floor has uh, patient care rooms and labs that are all very similar and then uh, have some of the state-of-the-art equipment that you would find at, at our hospitals. I I'm curious when students go into the mock OR room mm -hmm. the first time or would any of those labs, what's their reaction? It must be a little bit intimidating. They're in awe, I believe. <laughs> they walk in in awe I, and I think they feel um, a sense of gratitude that this is a place where they're safe because obviously nothing's really happening in there and they can actually um, spend the time simulating examinations and, and learn and not be concerned that maybe they're doing something that might be of harm to an actual patient. So it gives them a good uh, orientation, if you will, mm. to the real world. Wow, that's, that's mm -hmm. fascinating. But what a great experience mm -hmm. so that the first time they're not uh, just totally overwhelmed. Exactly. Yeah, especially exactly. in a hospital setting Certainly. where there's so much uh, going on. Mm -hmm. What do you see for the future of this? We talked earlier that this is a career, uh, people are in demand, we need more radiologists. Mm -hmm. What do you hope will happen down the road with the partnership? Well, certainly from our end, we're hoping that this won't be the first cohort that'll mm -hmm. get started, but this will be the first of many, and that this partnership will just continue to grow. And we can bring more and more of those programs down here to Montgomery College. I like to see it ongoing forever and ever. <laughs> <laughs> uh, because we do need, everyone should continue their education, you know, everyone should continue the learning process and what better way to do it in a place you're familiar with and with a fine institution like the College of Notre Dame. I, I hope it just lasts for a long time. <laughs> Are there any classes that students can take online? You have some. We you? do. We have um, some of the general education requirements that um, the students would not have had here at Montgomery. We have put some of them online. Um, but really, our cohort model is to bring that information into the classroom. Mm -hmm. We will certainly use all the technology available to us, uh, Blackboard management core systems where students can do chats online and mm -hmm. communicate with faculty in that way. But we really find that the one-on-one -on -one connection and the connections with each other and the faculty member is really what sets our program apart. In that second year, uh, with all of the classes that they have to take, they'll still be working with some clinical hours, is that correct? They won't be doing clinical hours once they've come into the program itself, so they will pretty much be 
finished with the associate degree and the clinical classes that they will need to take. But they, many of them will certainly be working in yes. this area. So they will still have those responsibilities that they will have to balance along with education. And that balance is always, is always hard. But that Saturday class mm -hmm. uh, will certainly right. help out so they could right. keep up with their clinical work or their job uh, during the afternoon. Sure, sure. Yeah. Um, I wanted to ask you to, if you can tell us a little bit about some of the newer uh, technologies, the literal, um, we talked about it a little bit at the end of the first segment, some of the newer technologies that are coming forward that our students will be learning about. Talking about in terms of imaging? Mm -hmm. Many of the graduates cross-train in MRI, and of course MRI is taking off in different avenues that were, was never kind of contemplated a couple years ago. And for folks who don't know, say what an MRI is. MRI is magnetic resonant imaging and it's using magnetic uh, waves rather than x-rays to image uh, parts of the body. Um, Cross-training in CT, which is was known as CAT scan, it's really commuted, computed tomography. Um, nuclear medicine, PET scanning, uh, which is again using nuclear medicine. Uh, there's lots of different uh, deviations from regular routine exams where we can inject uh, dyes into the body and look at parts of the body we hadn't been able to see before. It's constantly growing. Mm -hmm. So the need for continued education just on that level is, is quite uh, extreme because of the fact that we can, we're the eyes of medicine. We can, mm -hmm. we can see a lot with the, the changing technologies. And one of the uh, things that I'd read about in getting ready today for the show is that radiation can also be used in some sort of therapeutic way? Correct. Correct, and that's radiation therapy, and that's another area that a student might, or I should say a graduate, mm -hmm. might wish to um, cross-train in and become what we call multi-modality, so you would know more than one modality. I'm a radiographer of 20-some years. I'm also a mammographer, so I I'm multi-modality myself, so, and most radiographers become that. I want to thank you both for sharing so much information with us and telling Thanks. us about this exciting new program. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, Thanks for you. having us. If you want more information about radiological technology and diagnostic medical sonography at Montgomery College or the College of Notre Dame of Maryland program, please visit our website at montgomerycollege.edu slash health sciences. And as always, if you have comments about today's show or suggestions for future episodes, send an email to campus.conversations at montgomerycollege.edu. For all of us here at Campus Conversations, thanks for watching.